You know, we're as lucky as she is. Marjorie was but a lady when we were sent to serve at Highgarden. But in just a few days' time, we'll be attending to a queen at a royal feast. Where we're standing, we'll be able to see everyone. And everyone will be able to see us. I've been meaning to say what I told you about my family. It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. If handmaidens don't help each other in King's Landing, nobody will. Thank you, Mira. And you know I'll always help you too. Hold on, look. There he is. Lord Morgren? No, no, next to him. Lord Tarwick. I don't want to be a handmaiden forever. And this wedding may be the best chance of meeting a husband I'll ever have. I have to go talk to him. Marjorie won't notice it for a few minutes longer. Could you make an excuse for me? Please. I'm not asking for much. Are you sure you know what you're doing, Sarah? Marjorie's so busy. I can't just wait for her to find a match for me. Please, just don't tell Marjorie. Uh, say yes. Sure. What are you doing here? I know I shouldn't be here. But we have to talk. What? I didn't know when I would see you next. Be nice. Look, that night... I don't know what might have happened if you hadn't helped me. I could say the same to you, Lady Mira. But I came here to warn you. Yeah. I was down in Fleabottom last night when I overheard a couple of Lannister guards talking about. Shh. Brilliant timing. They already know he's missing, probably dead. They're questioning people, searching for his body. It's not safe. Please tell me you took care of it. Of course. I told you I would. No one will know what you did. <laughs> What? What is it? If we're gonna survive this, there can't be any details we've overlooked. I, I still have his knife. Oh, oh, no. Just keep it hidden and clean the blood off it. Meantime, just stay out of sight. How? Wait, did someone actually Do you forget me? who I serve? Just don't get in any more trouble. And I'll, I'll watch your back. We're in this together now. You saved my life. I don't even know your name. It's... It's Tom. Thank you, Tom. Don't thank me yet, Lady Mira. There's still a knife oh, out there covered that. with a dead man's blood. His name is and I don't... Mira! Oh. My lady. Sorry, I like him scruffy. Really? <laughs> A tryst in the bushes with that coal boy. Yep. Not to say it's wrong, but with all the lords and knights in King's Landing, you just don't want to spoil your chances of a good marriage. Oh, thank the gods you came along, Sarah. That boy. He fancies me. He'll find any excuse to talk. I just don't have the heart to drive him off. So you misled him? I wouldn't waste the time. Come on. Marjorie expects us at the throne room. We don't want to be late. You can tell me all about this Lord Tarwick on the way. Well, first of all, his name's Garibald, and he has this really funny accent. He told me the cleverest story about this festival they have where they sell. And I've given the musicians a list of songs to play for Joffrey at the feast. Oh. I assume you have no problems with the reigns of Castamere? No. I trust you've chosen all the standards. <laughs> but just to be sure, I'll draw up a list of wedding ballads we favor in Highgarden. Your Grace. Oh. My Lady. Which reminds me, Joffrey will require his Kingsguard close at hand during the feast. 
I'm afraid we'll have no room for your handmaidens. <gasps> but we... What was that? Do you object? Is that what I heard? I, uh... If you're going Your to Grace. speak out of turn, girl, I... you should finish what you start. We do as you command, Your Grace, and we'll spend the feast wherever it pleases you. You'll spend it mopping the stables, if I please. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, I man. asked your handmaiden here at the Iron Throne, whom she would serve if forced to choose between yourself and the king. Again. She was deferential to the crown then, as no she is do. now. But words are wind. In any case, it's settled. The King's Guard will stay with Joffrey. Your handmaidens will sit elsewhere. Of course, Your Grace. Anything for my beloved Joffrey. Lady Marjorie, we may not see eye to eye on everything, but I hope you will at least agree with me that our handmaidens should know their place. And that place is not with my brother, Tyrion. Uh oh. What did she mean by that? You and Tyrion. What you do reflects on me. If something's going on, I need to know about it. Uh -oh. I. I haven't done anything wrong, my lady. That's uh -oh. not how it seemed. Queen Cersei thing. made it seem like much more than that. Sarah, what do you know of this? Dumb thing to say. Mira would never go against your wishes, my lady. What am I to think, Mira? Uh, I've only ever tried to help you. Yeah. Bitch, we're like the same age. Why Don't are talk you to me making like that. trouble for me? My family needs me. We're losing everything. I have to do whatever I can to help them. I'm not blind to your pain, Mira. But your problems are not the only ones in the world. Not right helpful. now, I need you both to be my handmaidens, and that's all I need you to be. <laughs> it's a mid-manager argument. What is this, the office? Let there be no mistake. If I hear of you speaking so much as a word to Tyrion Lannister again, you can go home to your family. I'm sorry, my lady. I made a mistake. It won't happen again. Please don't send me home. This can't happen again. You have to choose again. Fuck. It's gonna happen again. I was having that metal dream again. Roderick, it's the White Hills. They're assembling in the courtyard. They've woken the house. You can't let this go on. They want to see us cower. I'll need my sentinel. Go ahead, Tarly, and have Royland beat me in the courtyard. Uh, be strong with them. Fuck him. Yeah. Fuck him. Fuck him. Go buy hot sauce and fuck. Assholes. Know nothing about trees. Or the environment. Know nothing impact. about trees. Environmental impact sucks. What is this? It's a parade of dead men if I have my way. Alright. Hey. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Who's behind this? Come out and face me! <laughs> Those are strong words. For a cripple who can't carry a sword. Ed Sheeran. Dick. All of you, show your respect to Griff Whitehill. Fourth born son of Lord Lud Whitehill okay, and commander of this garrison. Cocky Roderick, we used to call you. Swinging your prick round, lording it over my family. Now look at you. Hey? Roderick the Ruined. I hardly recognize you. But the name fits, don't it? 
<laughs> Pathetic. Get your men out of my sight. This is absurd. That sounds like the old Roderick. Beating his chest every chance he got. I don't think he gets it. No, my lord. I don't think he does. Your brother Ethan didn't get it either. You bite your tongue. I am in charge now. And the first thing you need to know is that if I am not happy, no one is happy. So my men are taking over your great hall. No. That's where we'll quarter from now on. No. What? You can't. You'll have to go through me. I won't have my men sleeping out in your barn in shit and filth. I don't care if you're happy or not. You'll quarter where I tell you. I wasn't fucking asking, Roderick. And what's more, you will treat my men right. I've heard what you've done. And if they're eating wormy bread, then your people better be eating shit off the ground. I'm not here to keep them in line. I'm here to keep you in line. You think you're being clever? If your men don't like it here, you can march them back to High Point. Watch yourself, Roderick. This is against the King's law. You've no right to make such demands. I have every right. We're here under the orders of Bruce Bolton, Warden of the North. So I will be in your halls. I will be in your courtyard. I will sit on your fucking council and be in your bedchambers if I bloody won't, well, please! You can't do this, little bastard. You can't just do whatever... We'll do what we were sent here to do. You're mad, Griff. This is my house and you will do as I say. Why should I listen to some cripple with half a face? Now! Me and my men will take our place in your hall. Unless you think you and your army can stop me. No, you know better than that. Damn it. You know where we'll be. Why isn't that an option? This is outrageous. Oh. Roderick! You can't go in there. We can and we will. Unless you want this all to end right now. Eh? Well, I'm not really... I'm the only anyway. lord here. Come on. That's right. Damn it. <laughs> Don't know, I feel like such a failure. Or Griff White. Oh, That's not those fourth ball. Parading in here like a conquering fucking hero. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof. Soiling our house. I know you tried to stop them, my lord. But we can only take this occupation for so long. Our people will break. And the way Griff Whitehill came in, that's clearly what he wants. We can't go to war within our own walls. Whatever we do, we have to be careful. But Griff Whitehill isn't the beginning of our troubles, or the end of them. Come on. We need to look at all the pieces. White Hill men aren't just in our house. They've raided our lands, burnt farms, and cut down our trees. All the way from here to High Point. How do we kill a snake then? By smashing its head. Griff is in the head. It's his father. Perhaps. But Griff is here. We have access to him. And they have Ryan. He carved these soldiers himself. Ramsay Snow killed Ethan. What's to stop the White Hills from doing the same to Ryan at High Point? Enforced him. No, did I miss one? I didn't miss anything. You can't forsake his safety. But we have to do something. My lord, at least give us a target to aim for. I gotta choose between my brother and 
everybody else? Or the, f the future? I mean... Yeah. I can't just sacrifice my brother, though. Can I? I... I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Me, 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 my, me, mo. No, 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 no. Shit. What do you think I should do? What, what should we do? We have to push Grit and his soldiers out of Iron Rath. They're the most immediate threat. But Roderick, what of Ryan? If you move against Griff, who knows what those wretches will do to my son? Knowing the White Hills, they'd gut him and leave him at our gates. The White Hills know that harming Ryan. I'm gonna tell her they're not. The main war. Yeah. There's no turning back from that. We must secure Ironrath, so we have a home to bring Ryan back to. Don't forget to Ryan's dead. Bennett, just assume you're gonna have to. It's decided. We take back our home. We lost most of our men with Gregor at the Twins. We can probably gather another thirty or forty men. But the Whitehalls are already fortified inside Ironrath. Thankfully, Roderick secured an alliance with the Glenmores, but those forces mean nothing until after the battle. That means we have to count on Asher and Mira. How? Asher means to sail home from Essos with a company of hardened cell swords. But they're not bannermen. We'll need to pay them for it. Which is why Mira's part to play is just as crucial. She can get us the coin we need in King's Landing. You don't imagine we have the luxury of waiting for them. Asher and Mira are a long way from here. I have faith in my children. I don't think Lud Whiter will kindly stand by while we pull ourselves together. We press on. It's no use waiting. We have a plan, my lord. But we must wait for the pieces to come together. The White Hills aren't ready for war. It won't be long before you're able to take action yourself. Oh, fuck. That doesn't matter. Well, one way or another, there's a fight brewing. So I have much to prepare. And men to train. My lord. And women. My lord, there may be something we can do now. A voice from High Point, Gwyn Whitehill. Lord Whitehill's daughter. The very same. After the hells that came from her and Nasha. Despite all that, she's willing to meet with you. I may not be your sentinel. But please consider this. It would be wise to hear what she has to say. Arrange a meeting. What she has to say may prove useful. I believe she can be trusted. But best use caution nonetheless. Of course. And I'll make sure no one else knows. For now at least. Good. Handle things right with Gwyn. And she may even help us in High Point. When the time comes. Talk her into it. Gotta do some lady killing. Mm -hmm. My sexy scarred up face. <laughs> I want the dove pie served with a spoon of lemon cream. We'll have to let the kitchens know. And okay. these flowers. Mm. They're just all wrong in the it's crown lands. Mira, are you listening to me? <clears throat> lady Marjorie, good tidings to you today. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. And you, Lady Mira, a word in private, if I may. <laughs> Who would I be to deny Lord Tyrion? Very soon you'll be the queen. And if you're anything like the current one, Go. you'll deny me all you like. Please excuse me for a moment, my lady. I promise I won't keep you long. <laughs> She's gonna be so angry. Mm, sorry, Beth. I don't think Lady Marjorie likes me. Although, after tonight, I suspect I won't be her least favorite Lannister anymore. Hmm. What did you want, my lord? Uh, there's much unpleasant business to be done today. But I bring you a bit of good news. I've arranged for the Crown to purchase Forrester Iron. A royal decree sits on my desk now. And I'll have my squire Podrick see to it at the first opportunity. Pod! You'll bring prosperity to your family. They're lucky to have you. 
You honor me, Lord Tyrion. Only you could make such a strong gesture to House Forrester. My lord, do I still owe you a favor? As handmaiden to the new queen, you will undoubtedly prove useful. Of course. I'm sure I'll think of something. Mm. Enjoy the festivities. Goodbye, Lord Tyrion. Today of all days, She's gonna be angry. you know I didn't want you talking to him. <laughs> You're playing a dangerous game, Mira. Of Thrones? Sorry. Sarah will help me with my gown and hair. <laughs> I'll deal with you after the wedding. Fine. Come with me, Sarah. No, I don't get to help you with your gown. Boo hoo. <laughs> There's gonna be nothing but grumbling and Jared. you know. Easy now. Sorry. I was just keeping at the ready. That's good. Don't lose that. No apologies. I understand your uncle paid you a visit. What did he want? All the shit munching. Not many people pass through here. What brought him this far? There's news that House Forrester is in trouble. I'm sorry to hear it, but you have to leave all that behind. Especially now that you're a ranger. Aye. I know you had told me you could stand with these men, but not every brother's a friend. If it came to it, and you were in trouble north of the wall, any of them you'd trust by your side. You know these men. Who do you want watching your back? Well, I know I can count on you, John. I'm flattered. But our paths may not always cross. Mm. You'll need allies beside you. Herald Holt of White Harbor, Corlys Wells from Stony Sept. And finally, we've got more spawn of nobility joining us. No. Britt Warwick of House Whitehill. It can't be. House Whitehill. This one's for the Boltons. Gary. Gary, what's the matter? You know him. Come on, get moving. Gary, who is it? That man murdered my family. What? Snow! See these new recruits to the Mesa? Don't do something you regret. Small realm. It isn't the fucking pig bomber. I'm here because of you. Got sent to the wall for that little party I do with your family. Don't think it's over. Best watch your back. What are you waiting for, recruit? Personal invitation from the king? Welcome to the wall, brother. Looking forward to it. That's enough. I said move. I'll be seeing you, farm boy. Gonna have to kill him. Oh. This isn't fair. We were supposed to be up there. People. I'll never see another wedding like this. I don't know what you did with Tyrion Lannister that made Cersei want to punish you, but it never should have affected me like this. I'm so sorry. I had no idea any of this would happen. But what Tyrion Lannister did for me, it may have saved my family. I hope that's true, Mira. I really do. Because you don't know how furious Marjorie is at you. <sighs> when I was getting her dressed for the wedding, she was talking about who she could replace you with. Oh shit! I probably shouldn't have even told you. But I suppose you have a right to know. I can handle this. She's only thinking about it, right? There's still time. I know this must be hard for you. It wasn't too long ago, I was asking for your help with Marjorie. And what did you do? Now you know how it feels. 
being on the outside looking in. one time I rejected you. But I'm your one. friend, Mira. I've been nice as pie ever Always. since. If you want my help with Marjorie, Fuck you. just ask. Otherwise, Marjorie's going to make you leave King's Landing. No. You're pushing her to it, Mira. And I can't let you. Sarah, I was wrong not to offer you my help. I can only ask you to be a better friend than I was to you. Don't worry. Uh, we'll figure this out. I'll beg Marjorie if I have to. I'm not letting her send you home. <laughs> Look, the pie! Oh no! We're <laughs> already serving the pie. Boy. We're missing everything. The pie. I know you. You were in the gardens the other night with Damien. Before he disappeared. I have a few questions to ask you. It's okay. There, what were you doing there with him? Don't think I don't know it was you. You've made a mistake. Seven hells. You then, go. I need a towel or a wet cloth, something. Lord Morgren. You'll need to find someone else. I'm not finished Are with you her. sick, man? You think I have time to bother with handmaidens? Release her, or I'll have Queen Cersei find you another job. And you look stupid in your hat. That's right. Goodbye. Well, I just ruined a perfectly good shirt to come to your rescue. No need to explain what that was all about. We all have our own mischief to hide. That was kind of you. I do appreciate it. Well, I didn't do it merely for your benefit. Then why? Perhaps I recognize a kindred spirit. It's not every little handmaiden who can steal an ironwood decree with the crown right out from under my nose. Consider me impressed. My partners, I am afraid to say, felt rather differently about it. That ironwood was stolen from my family. It was never yours to sell. Spoken with strength, my lady. But still, I wonder if you're ready to play this game. Of Thrones! <laughs> Do you even understand why Tyrion gave you the Ironwood deal? Because it wasn't out of the kindness of his heart. I'm no fool. I know he has a plan. Which I assume was about undermining your own. Oh, I have no doubt that was part of it. Yet Tyrion Lannister is more clever by half. He only brought you into that throne room to turn us against each other. To get the cheapest ironwood from you. He played you. 